In this 21st century, having an online store for your business, no matter which industry you are and the product you sell, will give your business a boom. You might not have that much money to set up a personal e-commerce store or even the audio of going into this big e-commerce platform. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use the Flutterwave store to have your business online no matter where you are in the world and which product you sell. If you're ready, let's go. So we are on my screen now. So the first thing you need to do is go to flutterwave.com. You can see that um, if you are in Nigeria, it automatically added the NG, which stands for Nigeria. But um, if you are in other part of the world, because I'm in Nigeria, uh, it automatically detected my IP. But they have uh, they have stores. You can open stores in over thirty countries in Africa and even. US and UK inclusive. So, um, if you are in anywhere in Africa, um, if the country is listed on this list, you can open a Flutter Wave account. And these are like the partners that they work with. So, this is basically for um, small businesses that want to grow their business and just uh, take it to the next level. You can just set up your store no matter the product you are selling um except the contraband products like um, weed and other things but if you are selling any legal products um you can open a store in less than five minutes and just set it up so if you have an account with flutter wave already um you just sign in but we don't have an account so we create accounts so here we have, uh, it will mean a full name. It will need a full name. Um, a trading name will be the name you want to use for your store. Uh, let me just put that store. Your email address that you want to use. the country where your business is located um like i said earlier boham located in nigeria how did you hear about data wave um, you can choose anyone um you can choose anyone from a google search from let me just put social media if you get a referral code and you can put it there if you so the next thing is set your password um, use a password that you know that you will be able to remember at the end of the day. Yeah, it will be easy for you to remember, but not easy to hack. You click on this and click on get started. So, um, we've been hard that an email has been sent to us. So, I'm just going to go to my email, pull that up. So, I have um, the verification code sent to my email, so I'm going to click on this to confirm my email. So, it brings me here um, to accept payment as an individual, to accept payment as a registered business, to accept payment as an NGO, to create and manage payment for any event. Uh, just click on this and click on continue so when you click on the uh, continue it's going to bring you to this page it's login to your dashboard so you put your email address your password log into your dashboard boom here we are. Uh, so, 
This is an overview of the information you need to set up basically so you can see dank store this is my merchant number so we need to enter our bank account so where we, uh, where our payments will be going so i put my phone number which country am i in uh, you put the country where you are um, for me i'm registering from nigeria So you will be sent an OTP. So your bank name, um, you need to put the bank. your account number this is where your payment will go okay. So you fill your business information uh, as required. If you are registering as a as a, a business registered under law, then you have to fill all this information that is here. Team, your website if you have one. Um, your industry I'm going to choose agriculture then you fill the certificates of incorporations that registration memorandum you will yes you're going to put every information here that you need basically As we have set up the Flutterwave account, now we want to create our store. Then we we'll come here to store. He said, he said you have no store yet. This is a simple tool that allows you to sell products online and like that. Now you go to set up my store now. The name that we put um, at the beginning is my store name. Uh, so. The store description shows what you will be selling in the store. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'll be um, selling catfish, uh, catfish, goat's meat, and other agricultural products. So, I'm just going to type. So this is the store URL. Um, you can put an image like a logo, store image like a logo for your store, and uh, you can add that later. Then select category of products. Um, and then you see, let me see supermarkets, um, like more or less like a mini supermarket. Then your store is live so um our store is now um live is is offline now but um we can take our store online if you want to do that um i will create a separate video on how to add product to your store and make it online uh, so if you have any question if you have any question, uh, do let me know.
uh, watch out for the video on how to actually set up the how to add products and set up your store to go online catch you in my next video